So you obviously would have been watching the team in the back end of 2019 and the news was quite good because there was certainly a bounce in performance. Yeah, for sure. There's, for me, once you kind of made, I made a decision of where I was going, um, you keep a close eye on for the last couple of rounds and without a doubt, WAU really stepped up quite, quite a lot at the end of the year. So that was always exciting knowing that coming into this year that those guys had found some gains. Sometimes when you're racing those cars, their straight line speed was, was pretty good, so I'm uh, pretty excited to, to, to get there and experience that. But, you know, it's all the little wonder centers that you need around you. So, um, for me, the biggest thing was my goal is to go and try and win a championship. These guys uh, got the mindset they want to go win a championship. So at least we're, we've got the same mindset going together. And I think that's probably the most exciting thing about going into to this year. We mentioned that you're jumping into a new family environment, but you are taking a member of a previous family with you. So you and Adam stay as an item. Adam DeBore has been a part and parcel of a lot of your motor racing success now over a long period of time. I would imagine that's a pretty vital link. I honestly couldn't really see myself racing in supercars with a different engineer. And I think, you know, talking to WAU at the time, um, the things I really need around me to, to go forward, they made a really hard effort to make sure they kept that combination together and, and that was you know, really awesome to see. So I know he's pretty excited about change, I'm excited about change and um, for me it takes a little bit of a worry out too of um, you know, starting fresh at a new team. The history of the team is a rich one and so there is a little bit of a weight of expectation here as well, not just from the WAU or Walkinshaw Andretti United phase but dating back to the Holden Racing Team. And I guess also in terms of mobile, if you look at the legacy of that company in motorsport in Australia, there will be a weight of expectation here. And the other good news aspect to that is we see mobile's presence globally in motorsport. So you also join a very big family. Yeah, 100%. So for me, I'm, I'm pretty pumped to, to represent the brand. Like you said, it's been a, a leading brand in, in that side for, for so long. So, you know, it, it really kind of kicked in a bit surreal for me. I obviously picked up my, my new helmet for this year and to get Mobile One put on it is, it's something really special. And it's like you said, it's part of a legacy that's been around for, for a long time. Brock, Lowndes, Scaife, yep. Seaton. I know you were a Seto fan back in the day. We've got photos of you hanging around and yep. it was on those cars. You know, those guys have an awesome legacy and what they've achieved in the sport. You know, we can only ever hope as a driver to get anywhere near those guys. But just to say that we, uh, you got to represent similar brands to those guys is, is something pretty special for me. I think right at the moment you're sitting on lucky 13 career victories, more than 200 races in your supercar career, only just more, maybe 20 odd pole positions and about 50 something podiums if I pluck those numbers out from Newcastle when we last all had to think about this stuff. Are you hungry now to try and add to those numbers? You know, race wins is something that it, it eats me up. It's not a lot of race wins in over 200 races. You want to go to the racetrack and you want to know that you have the equipment under you, you have the support around you, that it's up to your performance to make sure you go out there and, you know, get, get the job done or have the ability to get the job done, um, which I felt like I've lacked a little bit and I think that's, you know, comes back to the change for me. Is there going to be change? Are, are, are there things that you can materially grab at the moment and go, this is going to help or is it going to be fine tuning? I think it's, you know, you've got to look at the off season changes, which is going to be the biggest thing. For me, the mentality is that they're going to be working harder on getting more mechanical grip out of the car than, than what you would out of the aero side. Uh, dampers are changing this year, which is something that's is going to be a locked in factor, so you'll have to be playing with other areas of the car to, to make it happen. But saying that, if you're not winning races, there's always room to make, to, to make gains for sure.